I was today years old when I realized that Granny's voice is actually Luffy. And basically, Luffy says son of a bitch in this anime. My voice is weird, just... Uh, yeah, it's it's just a sore throat, so don't worry. But yeah, uh, dun dun dun. Episode 4. I watched episode 2 to 4, like back to back, and holy shit, from sumo to the Granny stuff, to this creature with a dickhead for a hair. It was fucking amazing. I loved every second of it. And yeah, my feelings towards the main character being the outlier from the nerdy trope is on point. He is fantastic. Usually I hate that stereotype, but yeah, Ken Takakura, the legend. He's actually a really good main character. And yeah, I, I, I still want to know what's the, what's the deal with aliens and ghosts wanting to steal penis? Why is that the criteria of stealing someone's body? Like, why do you need the penis? Also, we can safely say in 2024, this boy basically suckled on Luffy's tits. Yeah, I'm not joking. It's so weird hearing Luffy's voice actress play a villain's role. Especially when she starts basically screaming, that's... it's, it's literally Luffy. And, and it becomes just 10 times funnier. <laughs> Because Luffy's image will always pop up in your head. I can't believe I didn't recognize that in episode 1. But yeah, this anime has been nothing but a fucking masterpiece. From the art to the plot, I am so so happy we got this this season. And episode 4 in particular was absolutely full throttle into action. This anime does not give you a break. It's like, it manages to do so once. And that's a fucking miracle, because after that little break, it is non-stop rapid action. They play tag with the granny. The granny is like, oh, you didn't specify rules, so she basically does whatever the fuck she wants and wins. But then guess what? No, you didn't win. They're like, hey, yo, let's get the fuck out. And then minions, minions start following them, so they need to get out of this fucking city. They do so. And guess what? The granny is fucking there. They play another game of tag, and guess what? There's a fucking train, so they're like, oh, the train is a little bit faster than the granny. Or so they thought, until the granny catches up to them. And then guess what? Yup, this decade of a hair. <laughs> the other granny of the show, the granny that's actually a milf. She sets up a barrier outside of the city and it's like, checkmate, bitch. And yeah, that whole episode was on absolute steroids and I, I loved every second of it. I'm so glad this season probably won't be participating in the anime awards because uh, my heart cannot do it. My heart cannot put this against Free Rain, against Dungeon Mishi, because uh, I know this is gonna hurt my heart a lot to choose between them. I mean, I, I, I already need to choose between Dungeon Mishi and Free Rain. So that's already heartbreaking for me. And don't forget, the second half of Jujutsu Kaisen is also included. So yeah, I'm so happy this is gonna be on the next year. Because unless some miracle happens, I think Dan Dan, Dan will surely be easily taking the anime of the year. However, that's only by episode 4. I don't know what's gonna come up next. I didn't read the manga, so let's see what happens. And yep, that's about it. Get the fuck out.